This tree is really wobbly. Goodness. Oh, whew. All right, y'all. Mike just checked the cameras. Big deer are coming in here, right at dark to this feeder. And there's a new bug that, we, that he's never seen before. So this is exciting. Good stuff. Conditions are right.
Yes. Perfect yes. shot. Yes. 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 Dude. Whoa, baby. Dude. Perfect dude. shot. Oh my gosh, dude. I nailed it. Oh my gosh. That was all over the place, dude. That was all over the place. Sick job, dude. You had to get up, sit down. He was left, right? Oh my gosh. Dude, I I'm shaking so bad. I think I'm shaking as bad as you. Dude, I raged him like 40 times, bro. Dude, I'm shaking. I'm shaking, bro. That's the crap. That, that was a perfect shot. That was the biggest, that's the biggest deer I've shot by far, dude. Not even close. We're in a different realm. Oh my gosh. It's Before a good deer to shake on. What a hunt, bro. What a hunt. We're up here in this little spindly tree. Dude, look at my hand. <laughs> the little light just shaking back and forth. Dude, I'm shaking. So 30, 40, 35. <laughs> Four years ago. That was a money shot. Yeah. I mean, it was Did just you a see blur. those two does that came in? I was like, oh no. Because if they start looking I'm up. I'm glad you took your time and had a good shot. Yeah. That deer's dead. That deer's dead for sure. That was a good shot. Yeah. My gosh, dude. I'm pumped. Like, what a hunt, bro. What a yes. hunt. <laughs> Oh. oh, my butt is asleep. Yeah. Dude, I'm shaking so bad, it's gonna be hard to get down out of the street. Out here, we can see the lighted knock. It was so cool to watch that green arrow glowing, flying through the air, and then passing through that deer. Here it is. Truth. Oh, baby, we got good. Blood. Look at that. Whew. How about that, Mike? That's good stuff right about there. About as good as it gets. Oh, yeah. The green in the night. The old rage deployed and just whack, whacked him, man. Mm. That is a great sign. I mean, I think we made a great shot, but... Oh, he went this way. That was a moment I will never forget for the rest of my life. Me and Mike up in that tree, the way Mike set this up, had it set up, filmed everything back and forth. I didn't think we were gonna get done there for about five minutes, but he came back and uh, we got it done. So we're gonna let him rest just a minute. We're gonna go get the four wheeler. We're gonna go find this guy, my biggest deer by far ever. By far. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Time for the search. Blood. Blood. Yep. Blood. Blood. I think he's going Blood. more this way. Yeah, he's going yeah. the right. Blood. There you go. Now you're on it. There it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna get some ticks, Mike. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Oh yeah, there's blood. Look at this. Blood here. Where? Right here. It's right down in there. Maybe he cut left. Yeah, a little speck. Not a whole lot. <clears throat> hey, boys. Got him. Oh, here we go, y'all. <laughs> Look at that buck right there, boys. Oh, my goodness. What a gnarly dude, man. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> dude, that is awesome. Look at that, man. Probably got his lungs, long shot. Wow, wow, look at this big, old, beautiful deer, man. That is awesome. Look at those thick antlers, dude. Oh my gosh, dude, the biggest buck ever. This is insane. What an awesome deer. I was kind of worried. Were you worried? We were eh, on that blood trail? It was a good shot, but yeah, the blood trail was slim. Holy cow! So, this deer, how old do you think this deer is? Four years old? Uh, probably five and a half. Five, five and a half. Wow, look at this 
over here, man. He's got some crazy stuff going on, dude. What an awesome, awesome deer. Yes! Yes, Mike! Yes! I just gotta stare at him for a little bit. That is a big, beautiful deer, man. That feels awesome when you get an old, mature animal like that. He's got some really unique qualities. So awesome. Yes! Probably broke it off in velvet. Eight. Would have been a nine. Hey, that is a good deer. Cool deer, man. Cool. What a cool deer. Oh, that's awesome. Get his old back leg. Yes. All right. Dude, I told you you split a shoulder blade. To make a just an awesome shot on a big buck like that, it feels so amazing. Great. We're about to get a great photo of this guy right here. We're setting him up. We're here at the deer processor. We're gonna drop my biggest deer I've ever shot off right here. We're gonna get it made into some great sausage. Back straps, all that stuff's gonna be delicious OSG. Gonna love it. And of course, guys, you know this dude is gonna have to go up in the treehouse. We're gonna do an awesome mount on this guy. Okay, big boy, this is where we leave you right here. Man, what a shot. That was awesome. I'm kidding. We're at the deer processor. Somebody else shot that. Look at that massive one. Oh my gosh. This is where we leave the deer to get in some awesome meat. My well y'all, it's the next morning. I got my first full night's rest after having baby, and I finally have had time to process shooting my first big buck period and with a bow opening week of archery season i've been looking forward to this for a long time practicing and i've just been visualizing getting my first big buck and to finally see it come true it's just <laughs> it's an awesome feeling guys because this was an old deer it was over five years old according to mike and it had uh, actually gone down in size a little bit on its antler growth uh, from the year before and this deer was just ready to be harvested it was it's a low fence hunt so this deer showed up like two years ago seeing this deer kind of come and go this was just the perfect opportunity to get this deer it was consistently being there in the last couple weeks I will never forget this hunt because it was so crazy up in the stand with Mike's Mike did a great job on the camera and normally I'm the one filming these hunts that used to be my job so I know how, how nervous Mike was and how hard it is to get the right angles and everything when you're trying to get the deer the shot the angles instead of you just being in the blind or in the stand yourself and you can just go ahead and take that shot you got to check with each other it's a it's a team system making sure everyone's on point ready to go and then you get the shot and it came out amazing. So big props to Mike on the camera work. That deer kept going back and forth and back and forth and the angle wasn't right for Mike and then it wasn't right for me. He ended up standing up and he was trying to adjust and then I could draw back because another deer was looking at me. There was a lot going on. I had to let off and then keep ranging and then it was getting so dark that my rangefinder wasn't exactly picking up on the deer exactly. But that's hunting, guys, and this hunt turned out to be uh, just one of those hunts you're gonna remember for the rest of your life because it's just the way it came together and everything. It's a bond when you're in the same tree with somebody and then it all comes together and you, you guys get to fist pump afterwards. <laughs> it's just an awesome feeling. 31 yards, rage broadhead on my dart and bow. Boom, dropped it. For his heart, I was aiming a little bit lower but when that arrow got about five feet in front of that deer, it ducked and ended up being a double lung shot. So I think from now on, I'm just gonna go for that, especially if it's past 20 yards. If it ducks, 
gets a double long. If it doesn't, you get a hard shot. And man, all that preparation, just practicing, makes you feel good as a bow hunter. So thank you guys for being here to experience my first big buck ever. And we got it done on camera. So thank you guys, make sure to smash the thumbs up for that. And we're gonna be going on some more adventures this week, so go ahead and subscribe right here to the channel so you don't miss a single video. And I'm trying to get old Mike to start a YouTube channel. He does this kind of stuff all the time. And so anyway, we're gonna get him set up and get him filming some things out here. I'm gonna help him. You guys can go follow him when he gets his channel set up. But until then, guys, I will see you guys on the next adventure right here.